guys, my name is Madonna. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate it. And since we all know what we're here for, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am going to do a first impressions of the Il Maquillage makeup line. I actually got a whole package from them. So you can see I have it open. I kind of like opened it up on Instagram. But I got like literally $400 worth of makeup. And I'm going to do a full face with everything that I got and kind of like let you guys know my first impressions and what I feel about the products. So that's what we're going to do today. By the way, this video is not an ad. It's not sponsored in any way. I just happened to receive this in the mail. So I wanted to do like a full face using the products so you guys can know what my opinions are on this line. Okay, so let's get started. First product I'm going to pick up, it's the Il Maquillage No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. <laughs> this is, wow, this is nice. This is really extra. I mean, it's Il Maquillage, that's what they want to be known for. So this is what the packaging looks like. Oh my god, really? Alright, here we go. I think it's coming, I think it's coming. It doesn't smell like anything. I assume that because this is a smoothing primer, it's going to make me look a little bit more on the matte side. I'm more of a dewy kind of kind of gal. I am a brows before foundation kind of person and I did get a brow product. So. Oh, okay. So it's basically like a gel. I'm gonna have to use like a little brush. I'm a little concerned about the color. Color seems like a bit too light for me. Yeah, this color is way too light. Like it's not even gonna show up at all. Um, as far as the consistency, it's kind of like a gel to powder formula. It's just too late for me. I'm just gonna completely skip over the brows <laughs> and I'll be right back. I picked up my hair. I don't have a scrunchie with me right now. <laughs> I just used the pen, so don't judge my little updo right now. We are moving on to the foundation. This is the foundation packaging, which is so cute. Flawless base foundation, and it's called the Woke Up Like This. So it's called Woke Up Like This. So this is, the, this is what I like about this packaging. You open it like this, and this is where the foundation is in. And on the inside, it says, sorry, I don't speak a little maintenance. <laughs> I love it. This is the foundation. Look how cute. It feels very heavy. The color kind of looks like it definitely matches me. I don't want to try this out with a foundation brush because they sent a sponge. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I already did open it a little bit and I realized, did I do this wrong? <laughs> oh, it's a pump. It's a little bit oily. It's definitely more on the matte side. Um, I can definitely see it kind of looking a little dry in certain spots and I already have dry skin so that's why I gear more towards dewy and like wet luminous foundations. So um, maybe by using more like a dewy primer it would give me a better effect of like what I like to see for my skin. But so far like this looks really nice. It doesn't feel like anything on the face, it doesn't feel heavy. It feels like it really set onto my skin, which is why I feel like it's very matte, because I feel like it sets on its own. But yeah, like it has a medium to full coverage. It has a nice built-to-full coverage, which is nice. I do feel like this foundation is giving me a little bit of an olive undertone. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do like the highlighting part of my face. And the dope full applicator is just like round all the way around and it's just like a stick so I feel like it's kind of good you know if you want to get like precise you know and then you can kind of lay it flat let's see kind of lay it flat I guess for more product So this is giving me very, very light coverage. I think I'm just gonna go in again and just use a brush this time. 
because I definitely want more coverage. I'm just gonna use a brush. Okay, this is looking better. Concealer is definitely very matte as well. Like it's just giving me like this powder finish. And um, as I mentioned before, I am more of dry skin, so I am not a fan of the finish. But I am using a smoothing primer underneath and the foundation itself happens to be very drying as well. So I feel like I should definitely play around with this formula a little bit more with more of a hydrating primer. But I also have a hydrating setting spray. Maybe this can help with the dryness that I'm seeing on my face. Okay, this spray is kind of strong. spray is more dewy <laughs> now this is what I'm looking for when it comes to foundation and base I look for this like I wanted to see that wetness I want to see that shine um, I feel like it makes my skin look very healthy so um, let me see if I can just set this down just a little bit especially under the eyes I feel like it needs it I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzing and contouring and then we can move on to the rest of the products that I received you guys so I put on a little bit of color on my face I am going to now use different products that they came out with so they sent me these two little palettes this one happens to be a color boss squad um, so I think this is an eyeshadow uh, palette and then this one is a color master lip palette so let's open these up and see how they look it feels like it's like a good one pound like that is heavy all silver I love love their packaging it feels very sturdy these are the colors they're gorgeous these colors are my everyday type of colors I would use this palette probably all the time for like a quick look because this is the colors I would go to like right away. They also send two brushes. So I got a detailed blending brush, cream shader brush. Well, I'll just try it. I'll see how they go. I'll go in with the detailed blending brush first. Let's see, let's see what I can create out of this. So I'm going to dip with this color first right here. No, this brush is way too stiff. This is a Morphe M441. Now on my eyes, what I have is the concealer. And it's pretty, it's very muted. Let's see how much I can actually build this up. Okay, this is very pretty. Such an everyday color. I'm going to dip into this darker shade right here. And I'm using another M433 brush. And I'm gonna put this in the outer corners and just kind of like give me a little bit of a smoky look. So this shade happens to be very pigmented, which I like. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this more pinker color right here. I kind of like am digging it. Like it looks so pretty in the pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and use their cream shader brush. Only because it feels very, very stiff, so I feel like it's going to pick up a shimmery shade really, really well. Let's see. Wow, that is so nice. I'm going to use this other shade right here. I just did like my lower lash part. I might as well use all the shades. And I'm going to use this as like my highlight in the inner corner. That is so pretty. Wow. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, wow, that is blinding. Okay, so I don't have too many products to go through anymore. Just a little bit left, guys, just bear with me. So far, the eyes are my most favorite part right now. They actually sent a mascara. This is called Black Swan, and it's supposed to lift, curl, and lengthen. So I am going to open this up and show you the packaging. Oh, this is cute. The packaging itself though, it has like this glitter all over it. All the packaging in this brand feels very heavy. Do you see this? The wand is like on one side of it. So weird. I'm not a fan of um, this type of wand. We're gonna try it. Um, I'm going to curl my lashes. Oh, 
this is not bad at all. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this and we'll zoom you guys in because I'm actually, I'm actually kind of impressed. I feel like I need to curl my lashes a little bit more before using this mascara so that I can get more of like a lift, but I'm a fan and um, I take back my thoughts <laughs> of what, what this was going to be. Moving on, we are doing the color lip, the color master lip and oh, oh this is different. I'm just going to go in with another Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M508 and I'm going to dig into this and I'm actually not picking up any product. Well, it feels hydrating. It feels very balmy. There isn't a lot of pigment because I feel like it didn't really do anything to hide the color of my lips. All right, you guys, so my final thoughts. Out of everything I received from this package, <laughs> my favorite products were definitely the eyeshadow quad. I mean, they blend beautifully. The cream was super pigmented and the saving grace for this foundation, the hydrating setting spray. I feel like this definitely helps save the way that the foundation was looking on my skin. I've mentioned before, my skin is more on the dry side, so I'm not really into matte or powdery finish foundation, but that's my preference. So that's why I feel like the foundation wasn't really working too well with my skin type, but this hydrating setting spray definitely helps kind of like bring hydration back to the skin and made it made it look a little bit more luminous which i like i cannot forget about the mascara this mascara surprised me i really really liked how it made my lashes look very defined and long so like the wand is very interesting and i liked how it grabbed the lashes and it didn't make them look clumpy at all so that's definitely a win for me the rest of the products that i use was a little bleh. For me i can make it work it's not bad like the sponge you know i'm definitely going to continue using that it, it's okay the foundation quiz matching thing online is actually really genius it matched me pretty well i mean it felt like my foundation is a little bit more on the olive side but it's still nothing that i can't work with the concealer honestly it is spot on the, i love the color that i got for the concealer so i feel like that quiz matching thing is something that I feel like more companies should definitely do because I really like the results I got in terms of the shade range of the, of the tone matching to my skin that actually impressed me I didn't think I was gonna get like a close enough foundation like I really thought this was gonna be way off such an amazing idea especially now that we are in this pandemic and we can't go to the store to figure out what foundation shade is going to match us doing a quiz like this definitely blew my mind so I yeah I think that is about it for this review thank you so much to Il Maquillage for sending me these products. Of course, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and hit the bell button because I'll be doing more reviews, more tutorials in the near future. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.